Hello, and welcome to another edition of CMG Music Production Tutorials. Um, today what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at how to use Alchemy uh, as a drum machine. So just going to go ahead here, open up Empty Project. Uh, this issue came up in one of the, the groups on Facebook uh, about which drum machine you think is better. I suggested we use Alchemy. Uh, a guy said that we could do it as a multi-output instrument, which is true, but I have a way around it and I want to share with you guys. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to create an instrument, Alchemy. I put that screen away. I hate that screen. And then we're going to click on Alchemy itself. Go to Advanced. Go to File, as I always do. This is like a religion now. Initialize Preset. I don't like using presets. And we're going to go to Source A. We're going to click on it. We're going to go to Import Audio. So one of the things we want to do is we want to find out how to find Ultra Beat Samples. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this iMac. Um, we're going to hit Control and F, or you go up to um, the search, type in Find, and we can type Find Find under File. You can do it in many ways. I'm just going to hit Control and F because that's what I always do. We're going to go to Kind, System Files are included, and we're going to type in the search bar, Ultra Beat. So then we've got all of these folders here we're looking for the one that's called ultra beat samples right here i'm going to double click and then you're going to have all of the folders and all of the samples that are included um with ultra beat with logic pro 10. Uh, so we're going to click on the boutique 909 because it's just the bread and butter really and it's going to be pretty easy to work with and um, we're going to take bd1 that's bass drum one you can take whatever you want but this is what i'm showing you Oh dear. Uh, we're going to take SD1. And then I'm going to take Hi Hat 1, HH1. Where is it? Here we go. All right. And then just put that wee window away. I'm going to put the Hi Hat in between. So it's bass drum Hi Hat SD1. Now, this is the important bit right here, or you might go and see it. If we're mapping samples that you want to have a pitch on, you want to be able to play them chromatically, you want to hit pitch. We could do it with drums if you want, but you probably better just to go to drum, and that way it assigns each sample to one key. And just for fun, I'm going to go with granular synthesis, and I'm going to hit import. So then when we go to our A section here, our source A, and go to edit, we can use this little bar to zoom in. Here's our bass drum, our hi hat, our sample, or excuse me, our snare sample, and you can hear that kind of granular synthesis, kind of fizzy sound to it, which you don't have to do, but it's just it's an arbitrary choice for the meantime. So. I'm just going to go here and click in a little beat. Get rid of that. Expand this. And I'm going to... Um, yeah. I'm going to control and R, copy over. Control and J to join them together. And then I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this... Uh, first beat of the second bar right here get rid of that and we've got a, a nice little beat So the guy on Facebook, he raised the issue that we didn't have a multi-output, but we can kind of emulate a multi-output. So what we want to do is we want to click on here, click on this section. We hold down Option, drag, to copy the same thing, and then copy it again. So basically we've got three of the same copied over each other, which is going to sound like a bit of a mess. Obviously we don't want that. So here's the secret. We're going to select all of those. You can 
you select them one by one or you can select the top one hold down shift click the bottom one and it'll all select you're going to right click and you're going to go to create track stack and we're going to go to summing stack so they're all going to come out bus one obviously you can do this whatever way you want you can use your imagination be creative and here's what we're going to do i'm going to put the kick on the bottom so double click that type in kick double click this one that's hi-hat double click this one type in snare okay and then i don't know maybe call that kit just for the meantime so we're going to click on each individual region get rid of the notes that we don't need that's kick drum go to this region get rid of the kicks by clicking on c1 to click select them all and d1 to get rid of all the snares and then oh yeah i was right and then we're going to click on the snare region and we're going to get rid of the kicks and the hi-hats So now we've got three of the same. We've got three alchemies playing. And it's really not using that much CPU. Or memory. Okay. So now we've got granular synthesis. We can kind of go in and just mess about with the sounds a little. So. Um, what I like to do as well. Maybe it's a little OCD. But I like to be clean about things. So as we go to A section. We go to edit. And because this is just kick drum, just to be safe, we can get rid of the hi-hat, get rid of the snare drum. We can do the same. You can make life easy for yourself if you click this little link up here in the top right of the alchemy window. So whenever you click on the new one, uh, when you can re click on the hi-hat, it's going to bring up the alchemy for the hi-hat. We get rid of the snare drum and the bass drum. And then we click on the snare alchemy and we get rid of the ones in there. So this is why the weed link is important. You can see the windows changing like that. So we're gonna get rid of the bass drum. We're gonna get rid of the hi-hat. be nice and clean. Obviously you don't have to do that, that's just me. So I'm gonna go to the kick and I'm gonna play around a little bit. Grinder synthesis. So I can put a little uh, bit crusher maybe on that. Okay, I like that. That's got some sort of nice looseness to it. Hi-hat. Quite out of that. We're into our granular again. That's got something nice to it. And a snare. drum roll possibilities there. I 
so just um, just that it's come to my, my attention there, I can right click this, I can add a modulation, and we're going to get all the different kinds of things that we can add on in all these little lists. So what I'm going to go to is I'm going to go to Note Property, I'm going to go to Velocity, okay? No property, velocity. So, I shouldn't have done two there, but I just wanted to reiterate it again. So that's going to bring up our velocity depth here. So we can turn it up or down. If it's in the minus, the higher the velocity goes, the lower the release will go. And if it's in the plus region, the higher the velocity goes, the more the release will go. So, if I was to go to this one, you wanted to create, create some really nice ambient atmospheric stuff. So that's got something nice to it. So I didn't really want to get too in-depth. I'm not going to get into any mixing or anything. Uh, I just wanted to show you how we can, how we can um, uh, use Alchemy as a drum kit like that. Another thing we're, we're going to be able to do is we're going to be able to bring all of these together, join. So if I'll Command Z that, what I did there, you can drag over the top of them, hold Command, press J. It's gonna join them all together. You can dump them into the sum track and collapse. And there we go, we got really nice, clean looking, forced multi output alchemy as a drum kit. Thank you very much. Tune in for the next episode. Be sure to like and subscribe.